Hey guys, so I don't have much of a voice um, after Christmas, but this is an exciting time. I finally got, I have two of the Graftech CE7000-40 cutting plotters. Um, I have no idea when I'll have time to like, I keep shaking the camera, I'll just leave it. I have no idea um, when I'll have time to learn and switch all the files and stuff. I've had these in my foyer for like almost a month now I and mean, they're finally at the office. I have like 13 books of notebooks to unpack. I can show you. And there's the other cutter there. I have a big mess, but I have lots of orders to pack. Um, those are the cutters I'm currently using. I need to figure out if any of these will fit anywhere that I currently have set up in terms of space. So I'm gonna try and do that today. Um, I'm not feeling the best, I'm still sick, so we'll see. Okay guys, so <clears throat> this is a really awkward angle, but I am going to unbox this Graftech CE 7000 40 um, and see how big it is and if it can fit in my current shelving. You, obviously it won't go with the height of the shelves that I have now, but if I adjust the shelves, I'm hoping the width and the depth is okay, so we're gonna find out. Okay, I also wanted to say because of the warranty, it says I have to keep all of the box and the original packaging for two years. So I'm gonna have to also find a place to store these two huge boxes. Um, so that's why I'm being like extra careful when I open it. Okay, so also I wanted to just say that thing is a bit heavy, um, hard to get out of the box by myself. I didn't bring them up here, my husband did, because the boxes are awkward and I'm super short. So yeah, this thing looks pretty um, intimidating. Okay, sorry about it being wobbly. Um, so I'm going to try and see if it will fit on these shelves, maybe if... The shelf is more spaced out, kind of like down where my printers are. So yeah, that's going to be my next task. I don't think they're going to fit. Um, I think they're too wide because they're about 30 inches wide and I just don't think it's going to work. So for now it's sitting on my desk right next to my computer. Um, yeah, so my plan is, I'm just going to stand up, my plan is if I keep it there, if my standing desk can even move with that, I need to figure out and like buy another one and put it here so I can put them side by side. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I thought about moving my packing island down a little bit and then making like an L there um but then my i can't really use my stand-up desk anymore so i don't know i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna see how long the cords are as well because that could change change things a bit i'm definitely kind of freaking out right now um i did put away i emptied most of the notebook boxes that i was talking about and you know they're stocked up there 
there's some extras that I'm not stocking on the site. Some of these are already stocked up, but like the new ones will be this green freely noted, just the plain Tomoe River paper um, week size. It's like a forest green. I love it. It reminds me of like the Slytherin house. Then there's the restock of the beige freely noted. The other new one is the beige freely noted in pocket size and then standard size. Um, and then all these ones are already on the site listed. They're the freely planned with the 12 calendar, so they are different. I don't like that the manufacturer now added these stickers right in the middle of the packaging, but I tried to take them off um, and they just won't come off. So yes, my manufacturer's in China and I guess it's a new thing. They have to add that sticker on every single book. And I thought about moving my label to the middle, but it looked kind of silly. So in the future, I'm going to ask them to put it up in the top right corner because all of my other ones before never came with it. So I don't know, a little bit annoying. Um, this is where I'm going to store those big boxes. I'm going to put the other one up top and kind of like stack it like that. I have like a big mess here. <laughs> like I have, I have so much recycling, garbage recycling that I'm going to kind of go crazy. Um, I don't really know what this spot is supposed to be for when I originally set it up. Like that one I always knew was my paper trimmer, new stock, and like the light box. And then here, I thought about just setting up my foiler, like my fo my laminator, um, and making this little foiling station, which I probably will if I ever re-release foiled products again. I just haven't in so long. Added an extra printer for like freebies and stuff while these ones are printing my regular stocks. So I don't know. My stock shelf will have more room once I get rid of these. I'll probably keep these three while I'm in the learning phase. I'll probably keep them all while I'm in the learning phase and then once I have them down pat I'll probably keep the two portraits and the one cameo four and I'll probably um, put those in storage. So yeah. That's where I'm at. Hey guys, so it is now December 28th. It's the day after um, yesterday, so anything you just saw. Um, I just got in. It's 11.35 a.m. I'm doing different hours today. My husband's off work this week, so I'm just kind of like working around the family instead of also his work. <sighs> I have no idea if I'm going to even plug that guy in today I think I'm going to focus on orders and maybe like test print something from Illustrator I have zero idea how to use Illustrator other than washi so um, I need to like figure out how I'm going to remake thousands of files and last night I was spending some time looking up some stuff and I just can't find the info I need or I've had a couple people help me, which is so, 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 so nice of them. And I appreciate it. I had grilled cheese in my hand. Um, but I don't know if it's my brain, I'm tired, or if I'm regretting this already. I'm just kind of, like, stumped. Like, just, I don't know how to proceed in the best way, or in more most efficient way. So, I'm going to work on this massive list of free stocks that I did before the Boxing Day sale, pack some orders, and then maybe I'll spend some time on that in a little bit. Um, but so far I haven't figured much out other than maybe like saving the silhouette files as a PDF and then putting that into Illustrator, redoing the like layers for the cut, kiss cut, the outline cut, the print layer, and then saving as um, an AI file but they're huge in comparison like three times the size of a silhouette file so I'm worried about that too like maybe everything will lag or I don't know I don't know so I'm going to try maybe saving as an SVG somebody um, gave me a little tip on so I'm gonna try that and see how big the files are as well okay guys so um, I just wanted to pop on now it is 1 16 p.m. and I've wasted a good hour I want to say waste lightly on emails because there's a ton of emails about cancellations um or like um processing time and I am getting 
frustrated because the information's on the website, the very top of the website says my processing time before you order, your order confirmation email will have the processing time, um, and the shop policy says no cancellations. So everything's there, the tab, there's a tab on the site next to all the categories of shopping, so it's not like hidden at the bottom, you literally click shop policies and you can read all of that. Um, anyways, so that's like a little shop owner frustration moment because I just I'm finding especially in the last few months of the year there's so so many people that spend their money before they read and as a consumer myself I do feel for you guys so it's not like I'm being rude or anything I buy stuff too but I always read beforehand and then I don't get mad if it doesn't go my way because I it was my fault essentially right so I just wanted to put that out there. Um, it does clog up me packing orders. Like if that was a good hour, I could have packed, you know, 30 orders, 40 orders. And probably not that many because a lot of them have a lot of stuff. So, you know, at least 20 could have been packed out of the like 260 I have to do. So, you guys, I just wanted to to say that if you're even watching this my lovely customers um I, I don't say i don't remind people all the time just to be like rude or anything i just it's a nice to vent or maybe some of you guys can relate or maybe you guys had no idea that it is frustrating for us as you know shop owners so yeah i just wanted to say that and i'm working on orders right now i'm working on restocks because a lot of the orders i don't have stock cut for also another thing i get a lot of emails not a lot but like a good five orders out of every maybe 160 i forget something in the order or i miss up i mix up a sheet or an item i'm very sorry <laughs> my brain i swear i i'm like staring at the skews too and i'm like my fingers must not work with my eyes or something. So I just wanted to say sorry again if any of you are watching this. Um, I know most of you are kind about it and understanding and I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, that was just a little tidbit. I'm a human. I make errors. I'm just me. I'm one person doing multiple things at once. Which is also why I don't like to do these types of videos because it's taking up time. And then I get kind of like, oh, is this a good use of my time or not? So yeah, that's where I'm at today. I'm just having, I'll show you, just having this machine right here next to me is, it's like staring at me. And so intimidating. I have zero idea how to use it. And I want to try, but I don't have the time right now because I need to close the shop so I can get a couple, so I can get some stuff done. I, I think I need to close up for a little bit. Anyways, so this is what I'm restocking. It's very popular. These snow flowers, I love them. I think they're so cute. Especially the transparent paper is my favorite because of Tamoy River paper. It's thinner, um, it looks nice to me um the transparent paper anyway so it's like a little side side track i'll see you guys later hey guys so i'm back now it is 6 13 p.m i am super tired i'm getting all flustered because i'm still sick i just took some more dayquil um i'm going to leave soon because i need to get some groceries before i head home but I am going to plug in, oh, I'm getting a rash. Oh, wow. I thought that was flustered. No, it's a rash. Interesting. Um, I'm going to plug in the graph tech um, and just see what the control panel looks like. Maybe watch one video on the blade setup and like go through this baggie of stuff here. Um, I'm a little bit... I'm just scared to like touch it because I have nothing done in terms of files. I don't know how to design on Adobe Illustrator. I've been drawing all my stuff on the iPad and then I design all my sheets in Silhouette Studio because I do, I've always used multiple silhouettes. As you guys have seen before, I have multiple there. Um, and you can't just open the file and cut it on the graph tech. Um, so this is either going to be great once I get it all set up and going because they're supposed to be faster. 
Um, the two of them are supposed to be faster than me running my six portraits, but the amount of time it's going to take me to remake thousands of files, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Um, but uh, again, accuracy is supposed to be better too, so we will see. Um, well, it works. I see orange screen. And I dropped the phone. So I just, 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 just turned it on. Um, so yes, I want English. Um, I don't even know. Let's see. Condition. Hmm, interesting. So, I'm going to try and watch a video now on how to load the blade. You can see I literally shimmied the wire here because this is where my plugs are. Another thing, I got the machine to fit down here and this much opening I had to like put it in an angle. But then I cannot get to the back of the machine. Um, whatever this thing is, I don't know. But I'm thinking I'm just going to have to maybe get a longer cord and get another desk to put the second one which is still in its box. I don't know. I'm kind of bummed out about that because this works so well. I'm so used to it being on my right side now. Um, anyways, yeah. So I've been trying to just play with blade depth and a piece of sticker paper um, and I finally got it so that um, I had to move the blade out more, but I also got the kiss cut. So I'm going to try and write that down just so I can remember. And I'm going to do one more time um, just to make sure. Okay. Let's do that. Let's move it over. So I did another one, it's not cut through the back at all. Um, I probably can do a little bit less pressure, but I'm going to try that actually. But that looks pretty good. Um, let's see, so blade adjustment is for me. So this comes up, I moved it down too. So that comes up good too and it's not too easy but maybe nine will be the best this is like such a major thing okay i'm gonna take this out and i'm gonna turn it off for now because i don't need to do any more okay i am pooped i'm about to leave so that thing is kind of cool, super fast um, by the looks of it. We will see. Um, I have mail to drop off on Friday, um, tracked mail. The mail place closest to me is closed until January 2nd. So I need to drive farther out to drop that off. And then that's for the mail bin tonight. That's Canadian mail and some overseas letter mail. But yeah, that's a wrap. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, hopefully I figure more out tonight on my laptop just in terms of software um, because I'm going a little crazy.